mga kawawmat? In this video, we will identify whether or not an expression is a perfect square trinomial and we will factor perfect square trinomials completely. So first, identify muna natin kung itong mga expression ba na to ay perfect square trinomial o hindi. We have x squared plus 2x squared plus y squared. So this is a perfect square trinomial. Later, I will explain why and how. Next, 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. This is also a perfect square trinomial. x squared plus 5x plus 6. This is not a perfect square trinomial. 9x squared plus 30xy plus 25y squared. This is a perfect square trinomial. And 4x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. This is not a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so how will we know if the given uh, expression is a perfect square trinomial? Paano natin malalaman na perfect square trinomial siya? So una, ito lang ang mga dapat tandaan. Your first term must be a perfect square and it must be positive. It's always positive. So, tatandaan na yung first term natin dapat perfect square siya. Pag sinabi natin perfect square, of course, we can get its square root. Okay? So, yung first term natin dapat lagi rin siyang positive. Next, the middle term must be twice the product of first and the last term. So, yung middle term natin dapat... Uh, pag minultiply natin yung first and last term natin and then tinimes natin siya sa 2, the resulting product must be the middle term. So, yun ang tatandaan. Now, ang sign niya, pwede siyang positive or pwede siyang negative. Depende sa given. Okay. And then next, our last term must be a perfect square. And it must be always positive. So, ang last term natin, just like your first term, Dapat, perfect square din siya. At, it's always positive. So, ang sign nito, dapat laging positive. So, to sum it up, the first term and the last term must be a perfect square and the positive uh, term. And then, ang middle term natin, it must be twice the product of first and last term. Okay, let's have an example. So, ito lang din yung kanina. Bakit siya perfect square trinomial? So, x squared plus 2x squared plus y squared. So, this is again a perfect square trinomial. Why? So, sabi ko nga, dapat ang first and last term natin ay perfect square and it, it must be positive. So, as you can see in the given, our first and last term are both positive. And then, so, it check natin kung perfect square sila. So, yung first term natin ay perfect square, also our last term or yung third term natin. Now, dapat... Pag minultiply natin yung first and last term at tinimes natin siya sa 2, dapat the resulting product must be the middle term. So, 2 times x times y, that is 2xy. And that is our middle term. So, therefore, this is a perfect square trinomial. Next, 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. So, let's see. Let's see if the our first term and last term are both perfect squares. So, yung 4x squared, that is 2x. Kasi 2 raised to 2, that is 4. And then x raised to 2, that is, that is x squared. So, 4x squared. And then, 25, we all know that 25 is a perfect square. And that is 5. So, 5 squared is 25. Now, we will multiply the first... And the last term, so that is 2x and 5. So, 2 times 2x times 5, so that is 4x times 5, that is 20x. And that makes it a perfect square trinomial. Next, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. So, let's check. So, our first term is a perfect square. Our last term or, or third term is not a perfect square. So, 6 is not a perfect square. So, dun pa lang, masasabi natin na hindi na siya perfect square trinomial. So, this is not a perfect square trinomial. Next, number 4. 
9x squared plus 30xy plus 25y squared. So our first term is a perfect square, that is 3x. And then our third term is a perfect square, that is 5y. And then we will multiply 3x and 5y, so twice. So we will have 2 times 3x, that is 6x plus 5y, that is 30xy. And then for x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So our first term is a perfect square, that is 2x. Our last term is a perfect square also. And then we will uh, multiply 2x and y and then times 2 pa. So we will now have 2 times 2x is equal to 4x times y, that is 4xy. But as you can see, ang middle term natin dito ay 2xy lang. So this is not a perfect square trinomial. So minsan... Yung first and last term natin ay perfect squares, pero pagdating sa middle term, it doesn't satisfy the yung um, condition natin sa middle term that it must be twice the product of your first and last term. So, that makes it not a perfect square trinomial. Okay. Now, how to factor perfect square trinomial? So, dapat, kaya dapat alam natin kung perfect square trinomial mo na siya. Kasi pag, ala, pag perfect square trinomial siya, we ke, alam natin kung paano siya i-factor. So, if you were be given x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, that will become x plus y raised to 2. Or simply, the quantity of x plus y squared or the square of x plus y. Alright? Where x is your first term and then your y here is your last term. So, dun lang tayo titingin. Now, take note. Kapag ang trinomial natin o ang perfect square trinomial natin ay x squared plus 2xy. Kapag ang middle term natin ay positive, then yung resulting factor niya is positive then Okay? Pero kapag yan ay negative, yung middle term natin, the resulting factor is negative then or minus. Okay? So, this is now our factored form. So, again, x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, pag yan ang given natin na perfect square trinomial, the factored form is the square of x plus y. And then, if it's x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, the factored form is x minus y squared or the square of x minus y. Let's have an example. So, I have here x squared plus 10x plus 25. So, dapat ang factored form natin dito ay the square of x plus y. Bakit plus? Kasi ang middle term natin ay plus. So, ito dapat ang makuha natin. So, unang-unang gagawin, i-check natin kung perfect square trinomial mo na siya. Kasi minsan, baka nagpa-factor tayo gamit ang uh, form na to, pero yung ginagawa pala natin ay hindi siya perfect square trinomial. So, itong x plus y na to, or the square of x plus y, ay para lang siya sa mga perfect square trinomials. Tandaan yan. So, now, i-check muna natin kung perfect square trinomial, kagaya ng tinuro ko kanina sa activity. So, first, dapat perfect square, trino, uh, perfect square ang first and last term natin. So, x and then 5. So, they are both perfect squares. And then, we will check if the middle term is twice the product of your first and last term. So, i-multiply natin yung x and 5 sa 2. So, we will have 2 times x, that is 2x, times 5, that is 10x. And that satisfies our, our middle term. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin siyang i-factor using the square of x plus y because the given expression is a perfect square trinomial. So, we can now have the factored form. Just copy the first term, which is x, and copy the th last term, which is 5. That's it. As simple as that. Next, I have here 16x squared plus 72x plus 81. 
So, since ang middle term natin ay positive or plus, therefore, the resulting factor or yung factored form natin will be the square of x plus y. So, plus ulit siya kasi the middle term is plus. So, we will check first if the given expression is a perfect square trinomial. Kasi pag hindi siya perfect square trinomial, we cannot use this form, the square of x plus y. Okay? So, check natin ang first and last term natin kung perfect square, ah, kung perfect square sila. So, 16x squared is 4x. That is a perfect square. And 81 is also a perfect square and that is 9 squared. So, now, let's check the middle term. If it is twice the product of 4x and 9. Okay. So, 2 times 4x, that is 8x times 9, that is 72x, and that satisfies our middle term. Okay? So, therefore, the factored form, just copy the first term, which is 4x, and then our last term, which is 9. So, the factored form is the square of 4x plus 9, or uh, dalawang binomial siya na 4x plus 9 times 4x plus 9. Okay, next. I have here x squared minus 22x plus 121. So, as you can see, the factored form must be x minus y. Bakit? Because our middle term here is minus. So, dapat ang factored form nito is square of x minus y. Okay, so before anything else, before you proceed, let's check first if it's a perfect square trinomial. So, check natin yung first and last term kung perfect square. So, for our first term is x squared. So, obviously, it's a perfect square. And our last term is 121, which is 11 squared. Okay? So, therefore, let us now check the middle term. If it's twice the product of your first and last term. So, we will multiply x and 11 times 2. So, 2x times 11, that is 22x. And that satisfies our middle term. So, therefore, we can now proceed to the factored form. Just follow the rule. Okay? So, we will just copy the first term, which is x. And then, the second term, uh, the last term, which is 11. So, our factored form is x minus 11 squared. Next. 25m squared minus 20mn plus 4n squared is equal to the square of x minus y. So again, this is x minus minus because our middle term is minus. Okay? So check first if it's a perfect square trinomial. So again, we need to check kung perfect square trinomial siya. Kasi dun lang natin pwedeng gamitin itong uh, rule na to o form na to. Okay, so check natin yung first term, 25m squared, so that is 5m, that is a perfect square. And then 4n squared, that is 2n, and 2n is a perfect square. Ah, uh, no, 4n squared is a perfect square, and that is 2, uh, the quantity of 2n raised to 2. And then we will get twice the product of your first and last term, which is 5m and 2n. So 2 times 5, that is 10m times 2n, that is 20mn. So, our factored form will be, we will just copy the first and last. So, that is 5m and 2n. So, our factored form is the square of 5m minus 2n, or the square of the difference of 5m and 2n. Okay, next. I have here 27a squared plus 72ab plus 48b squared. So now, this is an example of an expression which is not a perfect square trinomial. Because as you can see, 27 is not a perfect square. Also 48. So ito yung sinasabi ko. Pwede lang natin gamitin yung the square of x plus y and the square of x minus y if the given polynomial is a perfect square trinomial. Kapag hindi, hindi siya perfect square trinomial, all you have to do is to factor out. Okay? So pag sinabi natin factor out, you need to look for the GCF. So since ang GCF nito ay 3, 
So, if a factor out natin siya, anong multiply mo sa 3 to get 27a squared? That is 9a squared. Okay? And then, ano multiply mo sa 3 to get 72ab? So, that is 24ab. Uh, what will you multiply to 3 to get 48b squared? That is 16b squared. Okay? So, now, na-factor out na natin siya, we can now uh, factor 9a squared plus 24ab plus 16b squared. Bakit? Because this is now a perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, kapag ganito, ang given natin na hindi siya perfect square trinomial, try to factor out. And then, tingnan nyo kung yung resulting factor niya ay magiging perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, since nakita na natin yung perfect square trinomial, we can have the factored form 3 times. So, again, what is the uh, square root of 9a squared? That is 9a. Ah, uh, no. 3a. And then, for 16b squared, that is, what is the square root of 16? That is 4. And then, 4b. Okay? So, the factored form is uh, 3 times the square of the quantity of 3a plus 4b. Okay, let's have the next one. 4x cubed minus 24x squared plus 36x. So, we now have, since hindi ulit siya perfect square, we will factor out 4x. Bakit 4x? That is the GCF. Okay? So, what will you multiply to 4x to get 4x cubed? That is x squared. And then, to get 24x squared, we will have 6x. And then, what will you multiply to 4x to get 36x? That is 9. Okay? So, check natin. 9 times 4, that is 36, and then x. Okay. So, we now have the perfect square trinomial. So, we can now factor. So, the factored form will be 4x times, ano yung square root ni x squared? That is x. Ano ang square root ni 9? That is 3. So, this is our factored form. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our WowMath channel. Just keep on watching!